What's up, music people? Thanks for coming back to another episode of Aura Audio, where we explore the depths of music and technology. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up everything you need in 2021 to make music for your Game Boy Advance. If you're new to the channel and you like these kind of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for my latest videos and go ahead and put that bell on. That way you get a notification every time a new video comes out. But without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this website, which will have some useful info. And now go to this website and download the DevKit Pro Pac-Man installer. Next, we're going to download the OpenEMU emulator. And last but not least, Milky Tracker. And all these links will be in the description below. Now, I like to always copy all my downloads to a convenient place like my desktop. That just keeps things a little bit organized. And then we're going to open up Terminal. Now, this application, we can type in commands and then press return to run them. Now, that command doesn't exist, but this one does. And it's very important that you run it, even if you think you already have it installed, because we're going to need it. All right. Now, once those are installed, we're going to open up the DevKit Pro installer. Now it's gonna give you a little security warning here and I'm gonna override that warning by doing this because I trust this application. And if you trust it too, go ahead and override it and we're gonna open it. So go ahead and run the installer, enter your password. And after this finishes, you're gonna to wanna to restart your computer. Very important, do that. All right, once your computer is restarted, these variables should be present. So run these commands, you should see things printing out. And that's very important. That's why we had to restart it. Next, we're gonna try and run this command, but it's not gonna work because it's gonna say we need to be root. So just a little bit about root. What that means is that you essentially become the super user. So every time you use sudo before a command, that makes you the super user. And you can do any command you want, but be careful. So just as I said, if we use sudo here before that command, it should work and prompt us to enter our password. So we're gonna do that and press enter once we've entered it, press enter again, press Y, and then press enter. Seems kind of complicated, but it's just as you're installing a normal application. It's just that we have to do it through the command line. So it's a bit different. All right, now let's open up OpenEMU and Again, we have to override it as long as you trust it. I do, so I'm gonna override that security warning. And yeah, should open up right away. And next, just a little quirk here, we're gonna need to enable the keyboard input. Now don't worry, it's not monitoring your words, hopefully. It's just so that we can get keyboard input for the Game Boy Advance, since we don't have buttons, but rather a keyboard in this case. So go ahead and do that. And yeah, let's go ahead and open up Milky Tracker. And that one's pretty simple. Just drag it over to the applications folder. Now let's delete these. Whoops, missed the trash can. All right, there we go, empty the trash. And sometimes this will warn you to put it in the applications folder. So I'm just gonna drag that in there. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and open, open Emu again. And this time we're gonna set up all the emulators. So this is the initial screen that I will have. And once we can load it, we'll just go ahead and click next. Cool. So now we are going to uninstall, or rather tell it not to install all of these awesome emulators, but feel free to explore them if you like. They've got a lot of great ones. Famicom, um, I think that one it automatically comes with. Um, they also have the Wii emulator, the Dolphin emulator, and lots of other great ones, great classics. But for us, we just need MGBA, which is the Game Boy Advance emulator. So once that's done, we can go ahead and proceed to the application, and it works, great. So let's go ahead and now test and see if Milky Tracker works. Looks like we need to do the same thing. This is common theme, override it if you trust it. All right, and this one has a very cool startup logo. I love that, it's a great design. And yeah, looks like that one's working. So we can go ahead and proceed to the next steps. So I want you to navigate to this folder that I'm navigating to, and just like that, use that command in the keyboard 
to show all these hidden folders. And we're gonna go ahead and copy this example folder to our desktop, Command C. And once we do that, we are able to finally build it at some point. But just a couple pointers here on these files. So this is where the actual music file is, and this is a mod file. So that will allow us to play back some music in what's called a tracker. Now a tracker is just a digital audio workstation that goes down instead of left to right. So it's pretty much like Ableton, Logic, you name it. But it's just very old fashioned looking and it goes down. But I really like the look and design of these. Although it looks complex to new beginners at first, it's a very nice, simple design that accomplishes what it needs to do. And it sounds pretty cool as well. I did not make this, but this is the example music, and I really like it. It's got a lot of different sections, um, just as you would with any pop song. But anyway, we're gonna navigate to this folder in terminal that we put on our desktop, just like that. And then all we have to do is run that make command, and that's gonna do everything for us to make the Game Boy Advance file. And look at that, we have a Game Boy Advance file now, so we can go ahead and run it inside of Open Emu. And to find the controls, you just go ahead and click on this button, Edit Game Controls. And that's gonna show us all the buttons that we can use to control this. So we can press B for the boom sound. And that's what you hear on the right side if you're wearing headphones. Kind of emphasize the snare there. And there's the ambulance on your left side. But yeah, that's about it. Feel free to explore this before our next video because we're going to be doing a lot. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.